Hello, this is my very first Star Wars action figure review. I recently decided to do one. And uh, before I get started, now there's a guy on YouTube goes by the name of Sith Lord 229 And he has over 300 of these videos. He's, he does action figure reviews of uh, Star Wars stuff. And I, I really enjoy it. I really enjoy these videos. They're fun and informative, and that's what made me want to do this. So, a little shout out to him. So, this is my first one, and here we go. The item I'm reviewing is a battle pack, a Star Wars battle pack, Jedi versus Darth Sidious. Comes with five different figures. It says here, recreate the epic battle from episode three. Now we flip it over. Here's the back of the box showing the five figures and a sort of action pose. Looks pretty cool. Some of the other battle packs you can get. Now, now you have three Jedi. You have the two main characters and then you have three other Jedi. First we have Sasei Tin. The Sasai Tin figure, pretty cool sculpt, articulation at the shoulders, wrists, elbows, knees. I think he's pretty cool looking. Got a cloth cape, which uh, I think is always better. Just is just more realistic. He's got his green lightsaber there, as you can see. And turn around, you can see the detail on the back of his head. Uh, yeah, that's a better look at it. Pretty cool, in general. You know? You know, all these kind of alien creatures just have a uh, pretty good... Just... Look. You know, just real interesting look. Pretty good sculpt. Okay? Then you have... Uh, the Kit Fisto... Figure. Again, with a cloth... A brown cloth robe. Pretty good detail in the tunic. All his kind of tendrils and his eyes. It's one of my favorites because he's just so interesting looking. He's so cool looking, interesting. And again, articulation just the same as the other. Shoulders, wrist, elbow, knees. Here you can see the head, the back of the head. Looks pretty cool. The robes can come off. They're all removable, of course. And he, again, has his green lightsaber. So now we have a character, Agent Kolar. Another Jedi. What's different from this is he doesn't have a cloth rope. He has more of the kind of molded plastic kind of brown robe. I don't know why they didn't give him a cloth robe like the others. It would have been better. And he has a green lightsaber, although in the movie, it's supposed to be a blue lightsaber. Look, for some reason, they made it green. I don't know if that's a mistake, but uh, it may have just been easier. You can see the detail on his head there. Right, good. Yeah, good, pretty good sculpt. Horns and his hair. Eyes, yeah. Pretty good sculpt overall. Again, articulation. The uh, shoulders, elbows, wrists, knees. That's him. Then you have probably the worst of the lot just as far as articulation. I mean, the Darth Sidious or Senator Palpatine. You know, his... Pretty good sculpt on the head, but there's no articulation on the legs, just on the left arm. The elbow, wrists, and the, of course, the standard Sith lightsaber, which has this mechanism. If you push down on the feet, it does that. 
which I guess is kind of neat, and you know, but it's, it's something different. But I think it would have been better if they kept the articulation closer to the other figures. Try and get a, you know, overall, not too bad, but uh, seen a lot better. And the fifth figure. The last figure, the Mace Windu, which, of course, played by the awesome Samuel L. Jackson. Pretty good sculpt on the head there. I think it looks pretty good. Now, he has a cloth cape. It's kind of a shinier cape than the others. It's a little different. But, again, the cloth cape, which I like. Uh, you have articulation on the knees. And articulation on the elbow, wrist, shoulder, on the one arm. The arm with the lightsaber go will move up and down but the elbow and the wrist does not articulate which I find very strange. And you'll see it'll do that up and down and that's it. But in general pretty good sculpt pretty cool looking figure you know of course the trademark purple lightsaber Mace Windu, the only Jedi who has the purple lightsaber. So that was Sam Jackson's request. In general, pretty good detail. Overall, good figure. You know, it'll look good displayed. You know, if you want to put in the battle scene, try and recreate the scene from Episode 3, as, I, as it says on the box. You know, pretty good. Overall, decent set. Now this... Got this set at Entertainment Earth, and uh, maybe kind of hard to to get now. It's a couple years old. And we'll see all the figures lined up. Of course, he fell. But in general, pretty good set. You know, if it came out now, articulation would be better, I think. But we'll. There you see, five Jedi, the Darth Sidious, you know. But uh, in general, not bad, you know, five figures. If you already don't have figures of these other Jedi, it's a, it's a cool set to pick up. And uh, I kind of like it, a little disappointed in articulation on some of the figures. But again, in general, pretty good set. Good sculpts. And, uh... I like it. Not the best, but definitely not the worst. So, that's my very first toy review. Yeah, hopefully you liked it. If you didn't, please, any comments would be great. Any opinions, ideas on what I could do better, what I did okay, what I did... Just comments in general. With. And uh, that's about all for now, and we'll see what else I come up with to review for now. Remember, the Force will be with you always. Signing out.